Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. Um, I just have a few projects to share with you all that we created together. Just a little recap from our uh, Them Crafty Girls Retreat 2023. Um, first of all, if you were with us for this retreat, you would have received a ticket. And I think I've shared this before. And several of the ladies during the retreat said they were going to put these in their junk journals because it's a great little you know, ephemera um, memorabilia. So there you go. There's a little look at the tickets that were issued out. And then you also would have received a supply list. That's another good ephemera piece that will go also into my junk journal. Um, just really simple supply list, common use uh, items. And then the other thing was your bingo card. Now, this was the cutest. Oh, actually, it was the agenda. So it was a rough estimate of what our retreat would have looked like. Um, because we ran over time, um, I think we only really skipped one item during the, um, the retreat. And that was a... We were supposed to have a scavenger hunt, but you know, ran out of time. So there you have it. And then the last piece is your bingo bingo card. You were supposed to receive two, but it still worked out because the bingo game just went, you know, really, really well. Um, we played a first round of regular bingo. There was only one winner. And then the second round, we had blackout bingo. And the idea was you received the bingo card. It was blank. And then at the retreat or in the email, they had a list, there might have been a list of, you know, crafty items that you could use and place onto your bingo card the way you felt you might win bingo. <laughs> so yeah, I made a mistake. I used beads twice. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. So yeah, that was my one repeat item, but um, I was not the only one. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, this little uh, table thing here. Um, I created in my Cricut design space. Then I just took, um, I just printed it out on regular cardstock. And then I took my gold marker and went around the edge. Um, I also used a glue pen and some gold leaf foil to put some here in between. Now you see it didn't cover everything. I hope you can see that. It didn't cover everything, but it worked out. It's still, you could still see, get the idea what that looks like. So I hope that you were able to see all that. All right. So now I'm going to stand up. I think I'm going to stand up. Um, I did join in on the crafting. Um, before I get into that, these are the stickers that I created uh, with my Cricut Design Space. And I printed on sticker paper. So you can see right here, this is a sticker sticker and of course there you go that's what I got there's a few I made several and so um, I did give out a prize or two so the two recipients of my prizes from our retreat will receive some sort of stickers that I created in their prize um, now, it's gonna take a little bit because I'm waiting on items from Amazon because my prize giveaway is going to include some store-bought items. And um, anyway, let's get into what we created. We started off our retreat with creating some um, embellishments. So here you go. Uh, don't mind this, just pretend you didn't even see it. We made embellishments, so the idea was for the retreat to create things that we could build upon and then put it together into a, a collective project. So we started with ephemera pieces and I used my border punch and my score tool to create a ruffled embellishment right there. It's hard to show you really because I it's already added onto my um, tag flip so there you have the ruffle paper right there with the border punch and I use my sewing machine to add a little bit of texture onto that um, some of these ephemeras 
So this is a digital collection that um, Louisa had created several years back and it was a crafty Galentine digital collection. So I pulled that out and you know, even though it was a Valentine theme, there were several pieces in there that you could just use as a crafty girl theme. So this piece right here is a uh, word ephemera that she created. And then I just used my glue pen and I'll show you like I did with this piece right here. This is the same exact glue pen that I used. It's the Quickie Glue from Sakura. And I picked this one up on Amazon.com. And then I laid um, the foiling, gold leaf foil on top of it and rubbed it, just rubbed it. And it sticks perfect. Um, these little stars here is a punch. So I punched these out. And then I took my marker, my marker I picked up from Walmart. This is the Deco Color Premium Prime marker, paint marker this metallic gold and I edged pretty much everything that I used on my um, embellishments just to tie everything together and so I used some trim from my stash I pulled some of these star trims out and this piece is pretty much an embellishment and then I cut the tags that were actually these are tags from Michaels that were the um, unicorn fairy stuff it was really sturdy tags thick chipboard and I use that to create my base for my tags so some of the ladies used die cuts to create their tags so they had shape tags they had fancy edge tags I just used the one from Michaels added all my embellishment pieces onto the front of this tag and that completed my tag and then here is another piece that I created this is the embellishment piece and then again I added some pieces from Luisa's digital kit which is some of these digital um, printed ephemeras. I just use my star punch again. So here you have it and they have the gold edging. This um, fancy pair of scissors is from a die set that I picked up from Alicia who is Lil Paper Crafter. And this is a Stampin' Up! In stamp and die set. So this is the crafting with you, crafting with you die set. And there's the scissors right there. I was trying to use all of them, but you know, you run out of time. So I just cut it out of gold foil paper and added on there. And this is handmade. I believe this is from Erica's uh, Scrap Diva Designs, her first crafty word set that she released. It's kind of hard to see, it does say handmade. But um, yeah, and then there's another ephemera piece that I gold leaf from Louisa's. You can see that gold, so pretty. And again, these are just those Michaels chipboard tags that everyone had picked up and never used. <laughs> At least I never used. But now they're really handy and I'm using it to create my tag flip, which was our second project of the retreat. So we created some tags to, to make a tag flip. And here are more of the printable digital collection from Louisa. You can see she has all these crafty tools, even the gem pen some pliers and this little jar here of flowers, rolled flowers, how perfect is that? And then here again is another Scrap Diva Designs word die set right there, it says crafty. And then Louisa's word sentiment with a pink foil on that word right there. I also did the fancy edge punch and um, created a rosette in the background. You can see it right there. And this is some trim from Ebony, who is the crafty girl, and she's also the rosette guru on Instagram. I used some of her trim on that, and I thought that was gorgeous. I created some uh, ruffled paper trim here. I just hand folded that, added a um, Dollar Tree snow tool in on top of it, and then some star trim on top of that, and just sewed it down with my sewing machine. So that is that tag. And then here we have the last tag flip. Again, all with Louisa's um, digital collection. I left this one loose so that you could put it in and out and look at her shirt. It has a glue gun. I just used some of my stickles, my Nouveau glitter drops, actually not stickles. And I used um, 
just added it here and there. So I added it to the top of the pen, the little heart. This is a planner that comes in that crafty digital collection. This little envelope back here is a die set from Coco and Reno when I used to be subscribed to them. So it was one of these and it's called Snail Mail. And it comes with a bunch of pieces. I'm sorry, I can't pull it out right now because I'm just trying to share with you what I did. So all these pieces here that are printed out, these are from Louisa's digital paper collection. The background paper, I forgot to mention, is also from a contributor for our retreat, who is um, Tamika, who is sending smiles here on YouTube. She had created a paper line just specifically for our retreat. And I also added some yellow ribbon trim on the bottom. But that is the tag flip. Let me show you Tamika's papers. And they are available on her Instagram, you guys. Um, I'm sorry, I cut into a lot of the papers during the retreat. So I made the ruffle edge paper with that. And I also made the background. So, so here is our best, um, not our, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Tamika's a digital paper collection that she created exactly for the retreat using colors that the four of us love purple pink green and you know all the fun colors so it comes like this i mean this lighting is not the best but look at this one it has tags it has flags it has a pennant it has a banner bow and a sewing machine and then she just you know, created this gorgeous background paper. Oh, I printed this several times, but um, let me show show you what that paper looks like. I cut it up. Oh my gosh! So this is one I cut up, and it has those uh, paint tubes and scissors and tape and you know the pokey tool and stuff like that such a pretty paper and I love the colors that she chose. You can see I cut them out. And here's this black background with the beautiful flowers. And she created these four joining hands um, just to represent the four ladies that are in Them Crafty Girls. And she's got Crafty Bestie on here and just repeats it with the different colors. I cut into that a lot. This one I didn't get to play with, but this is so much fun right here. And then this, I did cut into this one, and you can, you'll can you see it soon. Um, I didn't get to play with this one, which is very, very cute with our scissors. And then this one is ripped paper. I love it. Um, just the different papers that she has created and then created them into, like, strips. So there you have it. Oh, and there's the – oh, did I show this one? Beautiful pattern polka dots. And then you have this green with the – um, I, I think when I see this, I think of hotels, you know, fancy hotels. So those are the papers that she's created. And, um, oopsies. So yeah, that is what I got here. So I also made another embellishment, but I can't show you that without showing you the completed project. Oh no, we created a Memdex. I'm sorry. So the next one we created Memdex, and this is the where I used Tamika's papers, although they are covered up with the embellishments. I'm so sorry, Tamika. Um, I used uh, KS Crafts. This is a die set that I have won from Tamika. Oh, a ZF Party, I'm sorry. It is the Kissing Booth. So I used this, and then I cre created a piece where you attach the memdex to so I punched that out with my memdex punch okay and then here's some of the stars again and the star trim this is the little ephemera piece from Coco and Reno it's a little envelope that has some flowers sprouting out and then in the background you can see Tamika's little paper there with the hands and then um, I also cut out the one that said crafty bestie added it to a stamp ephemera that came from Coco and Reno. So it just, you know, like happy mail. Here is another word that um, Louisa created with her 
digital collection. I just foiled that with the pink foil. There's that decorative edge punch and I added it to the top above the booth. And this booth is, I die cut out of foam to make it a little sturdier and added some double pieces. So the front and the back are covered. And there's that Dollar Tree tool and then some bling from my stash. And the booth itself comes with this little banner. So I was supposed to add craft on here, but it's okay. Cause you got crafting up top and crafty bestie, crafty meetup. I mean, you don't need any more. And then here is the digital collection again from Louisa. I just edged it again with the, with the gold pen and it says eat, sleep, create. And I was told this is a, not the cricket, but the other one. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. I know what it is. Silhouette. There you go. <laughs> So here's the background. Um, this is again, Tamika's digital paper collection. And here I added my sticker that I printed on holographic paper or holographic sticker. And then I just added the date of the retreat. Yep, and that was all guys. So there is my Memdex. And then this was our finale, our grand finale. It was a tutorial. Um, designed by Christian's Crafty Adventures. She was a part of our retreat. She closed us out for the night. This is the largest uh, ephemera piece that I made at the very, very beginning. And um, this has been in my stash. I used my Cricut to cut this one out. It says Crafty Life. And it's a hashtag. And then here's that punch star again repeating in there. Um, I did use a tropical collection because because I wanted to, because <laughs> I'm a tropical girl. So all these printed pieces are from Louisa, her digital collection again. The ruffle paper in the background, that is from another paper collection that I just kind of grabbed. Um, I think it's the Monaco or something. Let's see, here it is, Fifth and Monaco, this paper. So it's an old, it's an old paper collection. But Christian had designed and taught how to create this uh, lunch tote, lunch bag tote. And I just stuck the ephemera that we created on the front of my tote, added my sticker and the date. You can see that sticker. And then here, this is what it looks like. She created basically two little boxes and a created a method how to create a flap to cover it up. And she added a front pocket and two side pockets. But because my memory decks was so big, I couldn't fit it into the lunch bag. I just added a fourth pocket on the back side, And that one will hold my memory decks card. So perfect. I used the same method that she showed us how to make the pockets on the front and the sides to, make, to create the back pocket. So look at how cute that looks right there. Oh my God, I love it. It's so perfect, Christian. I, I just, I'm so grateful, thankful that you were able to join us for this crafty retreat. Um, all the ladies love the tutorial. Um, although it was a little rough starting, once everyone got the hang of what we were creating, it was just too easy. We all ended up with our final product and it was perfect. So now I'm going to stick this in here. And so I will put my tag flip in here also. Whoops. I used Velcro. I didn't use magnets for this um, lunch bag. So let me stick this in here. It does fit if I fit it in sideways. And I pull all the things together. So there you go. And it goes in like that, just like that. Close that up. I am going to stick a few more um, embellishments and stuff like that into this pocket up here. And then the sides and the front will be filled up also. And I want to um, wrap it up basically and give it to my um one of my winners so i hope you all enjoyed this video 
I don't know when we're doing our next retreat. We still are in the process of recovering from this retreat. So <laughs> it was a it was a success. It was a challenge, especially with time zones, trying to coordinate everybody. Um, it was just a little bit of a challenge, but everyone enjoyed themselves. It was very laid back. You know, there was no pressure on people to rush, rush, rush so we could get to the next one. We kind of gave it that buffer so that we did have enough time. Although we did still run over our time, expected time to end. Um, I don't think any of them were complaining how long we lasted. So um, thank you all. And I hope to see you on the next video. If you're new here, welcome. Hit the subscribe button down below and join my crafty family. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell. That way you will be notified when I load a new video or if I go live. <laughs> so thanks again. And don't forget to follow Them Crafty Girls on Instagram, Them Crafty Girls. So thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Bye.